Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jay Straight Up Reviews and More. All right, so we're doing the review now on the Boom 2. I've done a couple of videos. Most recent one, I compared it to the Motion Boom Plus. Check that video out. At the end of this video, I'll leave a little link on the screen to that one. But this is their newest speaker. It comes in green, black, and dark blue. They're all dark colors. This is the dark kind of hunter green color. This speaker has a 24 hour rated battery life, but even on the little sticker, it'll tell you that when you run the lights and the base up, you're gonna lose time. Obviously it's not gonna run as long, but this is an 80 watt speaker they advertise it as. It's a Boom 2 IPX7, it'll float. It does a PartyCast 2.0, so any speakers you have that support PartyCast 2.0, you can pair up to 100, I believe, of those together, or this will run TWS also. Now the controls are really the same as you'll see on a lot of the Soundcore speakers, but the base up button on this, I'll kind of turn it so you can see the light, but if you tap it twice, it turns your lights off. Once is just for base up, base up, and turn on base up off. And then if you hold it, tap it twice again, your lights will come on. If you hold it for three seconds, it'll change to a different light mode. So it's kind of a cumbersome deal using the base up button for the lights also. Would have been nice if they just put a separate light button, but they didn't. Now this speaker, I don't know if you can see by the angle of it, but it has a large racetrack shaped woofer, more of a oval, and it has two tweeters. So the thing with the boom, motion boom, the problem with it was it didn't have tweeters, it just had two, two full range drivers. So the motion boom didn't have the, the best clarity and detail because it just didn't have the tweeters. So I think they really, this was this is what the boom, motion boom should have been a couple years ago when it came out. This is how they should have done it. And I also like that the grill is not quite as see-through. You can't see what's going on in there. It kind of looks cheap to me when you can see right through there and see the drivers, but that's just me. It does have grooves underneath for your fingers, which is nice. Now this weighs, I think three pounds, a little over three pounds, 11.7 ounces, something like that. On Amazon, they've got it advertised at like 4.53 pounds. That's inaccurate. It weighs three pounds, 11.7, I think is what it was. Has some little feet on the bottom that are kind of a different color green for this particular one. Your, rad your passive radiators do light up now. And on the back, you have a, USB-A. Now I tried to play something off a of flash drive, it wouldn't play. So I think that's just for charging other devices and USB-C to charge the speaker. Soundcore branding, no 3.5 millimeter jack, which is a disappointment. So overall this speaker, if you've seen the videos I've done, it is, it is, it is a good speaker. So let's back it up and we'll do a sound demo. All right, before we do the sound demo, I'm gonna go through some of the stuff in the app, Soundcore app for this particular speaker. Now, on your light modes, there you can see there's actually seven because you scroll this over. If it'll scroll over, there's another one. So there's seven, seven light modes. So right now it's playing flash. I'll turn this up a little bit. And you can change the colors when it, within these different modes. This is flame. Let's see if it turned up, if it makes it go higher. Yeah, it kind of goes with the volume. So you go higher, it goes from kind of a red to orangish based on the volume level. This is energy. This is wave. is lightning now some of these I'll turn them as you can see that one just does kind of does its own thing but when you turn the volume it does start doing a little bit different yeah so it's fireworks and this one is color flow 
kind of a rainbow color. So those are the light modes. Turn it back to flashes, which is the first one. All right. So next we'll go through the different EQs. All right, so I've got this at 40%. We'll go through some of the EQs that the speaker has, the stock EQs that come with it, and then we'll also go to a custom EQ that I've set up. So right now it's in Soundcore Signature. That's the kind of the graph they show you for Soundcore Signature. This is voice. Kind of emphasizes the upper mids and really kind of drops the highs. More for more for podcasts and stuff like that. Treble boost. And this is balanced. Kind of warms up the sound. Now this is custom EQ that I'm using right now. I haven't really tinkered with this too much. It's just a basic custom EQ with the bass boost on. So we'll leave it there for now. Change track. Let's go up to 60%. It says custom EQ. Give you a little off axis sound here. Not bad, off axis. Woo! Light it up, baby. Let's go up to 80%. Oh, yeah. Woo! Bass does go up to 100%. There's the max volume. Go down to 60. So it does lose a little bit. Back to 80. Check here, baby. Let's go max volume. Max it out. Come on, baby.
go back to this is balanced sound core signature it's got 100% Back to custom EQ. Eighty percent. And then back down to forty. So it does it can get when you get to hundred percent. It gets a it can get a little bit sketchy, just slightly. But the bass overall is good. It just doesn't hold it to 100%. Go back to 100%. And that doesn't sound the greatest, really. But bear in mind that is with a using a custom EQ. But there you can see my custom EQ. Let's turn the bass up off. back this track up a little bit. And I do have this custom EQ, the low band, stretched out to 59 hertz to where it starts. Let's increase it some. There, I've increased the low end with bass boost off. 100%. lose some bass and if you try to push with the bass up on or if you try to really boost the lows too much I think you're gonna run into a problem so now the question is what do we give this speaker as a score we're gonna do this if you've paid attention lately ace is the best two is the worst jokers the complete garbage so let's bring in somebody let's bring in mr. T and he's gonna tell us we've been talking what are we gonna give this as a speaker, what kind of score are we gonna give it? And there it is, folks. The, the score for this speaker is a jack. Now, anytime you're in the face cards, that's a good, it's a good speaker. This is a good speaker. The price, I think, is 130 is maybe just a little high, but I imagine this will get closer to 100 after it's been out for a while. They'll run a coupon code. It has good sound overall to it, but it does get a little sketchy when you get to max volume and the bass does thin out. So, you know, it's not a big speaker. You can't expect it to sound huge, but they really tout this thing as supposed to supposedly being three times louder than the motion boom, which I don't know where they, where they pulled that out from. I know somewhere where they did pull it out from, but that's not, that doesn't seem right at all. But yeah, this, the speaker has it has better clarity than the the motion boom did the motion boom lacked tweeters so the addition of tweeters with the larger woofer i think was a much better way to go with this speaker so this is probably what the boom motion boom should have been a couple years back so overall a good speaker definitely a good score for it a jack is a good score i'm kind of stingy with giving out face cards i haven't given out very many so let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one and if you disagree with Mr. T, that's not a good idea. You can disagree with me, that's fine, but don't bring Mr. T into this. I pity the fool. <laughs> so like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't done so already. Make it sound right, boy, and do it. Subscribe today, it's free. It costs you nothing, and I guarantee this channel's worth every bit of nothing. Let's ride out.